Uh, our next speaker is Berta Valle. Uh, she's the wife of imprisoned opposition leader Felix Maradiaga, uh, who was thrown into prison for the crime of running for president, uh, along with several others, and about 170 other individuals who dared to criticize the dictator in Nicaragua, Daniel Ortega. Berta herself is a recognized Nicaraguan activist, journalist, and human rights defender. She has 15 years of experience as a senior television anchor, working with top shows in Nicaragua. She is one of the most recognized broadcasters in the country. In 2016, she was nominated as an independent to represent the city of Managua in the National Assembly by the Independent Liberal Party as part of its National Coalition for Democracy. However, Nicaragua's Supreme Court, controlled by loyalists of the dictator Ortega, disqualified the party's coalition, and Berta was blocked from running. Since 2018, Berta and her daughter and mother-in-law have been living in exile due to persecution faced by her husband Felix and his family. I should note that Felix spoke with us here uh, just a few years ago and is now in prison. Uh, he was forcibly disappeared by the regime in June of last year after announcing his intention to run against Ortega in presidential elections, and he remains imprisoned today. Uh, Berta is working tirelessly, coordinating defense teams that support Felix inside and outside of Nicaragua. As a consequence, consequence of her work, the police and public ministry have found her guilty of being, quote, a traitor to the homeland. The only evidence they presented was uh, so-called investigations into her advocacy on behalf of her imprisoned husband, but it's another way of trying to harass and persecute her. Berta, we're very glad that you're here, and, uh, and it's particularly personal for us that one of our speakers here a few years ago is now behind bars and suffering the way that Felix is. Thank you very much, and it's an honor for me to be here. Um, in 2019, my husband, Felix Maradiaga, was a speaker at the Geneva Summit. Today, he is in prison together with more than 175 political prisoners in Nicaragua. In April 2018, in Nicaragua, people took to the streets to peacefully protest Daniel Ortega autocratic rule. The regime responded with overwhelming violence and killed more than 355 people. Since 2018, the regime's oppression has only increased. There have been silencing the media, criminalizing protests, and persecuted political opponents. In February 2021, Felix announced that he was running for president in the November election against Daniel Ortega. On June, the forces of Ortega's regime illegally detained him and took him away. For 84 days, I had no idea where my husband was, I did not even know if he was alive. The same thing happened to the other seven presidential candidates, plus journalists, students, peasants, party leaders, and human rights defenders. They're being in jail living in horrific conditions. They sleep in cold concrete slab without sheets or blankets. They do not have enough food or proper medical attention. They're verbally abused and psychological torture. They do not have access to reading material, not even a Bible, and some remain in solitary confinement. Felix has lost 50 pounds, and he is held in total darkness 24-7. This last February, one of the political prisoners died in custody of the police, and we fear others could die in jail too. Along with Victoria Cárdenas, the wife of political prisoner Juan Sebastián Chamorro, I have been speaking out and demanding freedom for all political prisoners in Nicaragua. For our activists and for human rights, the regime has condemned us as traitor of the homeland. Because I cannot go back to Nicaragua, I haven't had contact with my husband since his abduction in June 8. And the regime is not allowing us to have any type of contact, not even a phone call, a letter, or even a drawing from our eight years old daughter. Recently, Felix and others were sentenced between eight to 13 years in prison in a trial that had violated all the due process. Last week, the UN Human Rights Council voted to establish a special mechanism for Nicaragua. We are very grateful for the resolution presented by Costa Rica, Chile, Colombia, Canada, Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, and Paraguay. 
This is an important step. And I ask all of you and the international community to continue to support the restoration of human rights and democracy in my country. Thank you. Thank you, Berta.